Hi everyone, welcome to Azure Every Day. My name is Brad Gall. I'm a senior principal consultant here with Pragmatic Works, and today we're going to talk about uh, how you script your cloud, how we script in Azure, and why you should be doing it. It's a great feature we should be taking advantage of there. So one of the most underutilized benefits of Azure that I see customers not taking advantage of is the fact that you can script pretty much everything within Azure. We don't have to do anything through the GUI if we don't want to. Um, we can save our infrastructure as code now. It's a pretty awesome thing. We could save an entire build out of all of our servers as a code script um, and deploy it somewhere else. So what some of the things we can do with, with scripting in, in, in Azure is uh, we can create DBs. We can spin them up, restore them. We can create VMs built from scratch, um, install software within the VM, join it to the domain. Uh, we can build websites out through uh, Azure App Services. All this is all scriptable. We can build out whole environments, like I said, uh, save those scripts, and we have our infrastructure actually backed up as a scriptable in a scriptable interface. Now, what are the tools we're going to use to do this? Uh, so, one that you're probably really familiar with is PowerShell scripts. So, you've already been dabbling with PowerShell, maybe on prem, to pull back things like um, some information on your servers, maybe do a little bit of deployment. Um, there's great commandlets, Azure commandlets within PowerShell. They'll allow you, again, to do pretty much everything in Azure. We can um, turn on VMs, stop VMs, uh, automate a lot of our processes there, which helps us save money um, as far as compute resources goes and helps us, again, with our deployments. We can spin up a whole test environment uh, via scripts. So PowerShell is probably the easiest way to get into that. Uh, we also have the Azure command line interface, uh, which is just another variation of, of the PowerShell scripts we have, but um, more geared towards... Um, a command line interface like some of you uh, that are more familiar with Linux would be used to. So it runs on Linux. Uh, it's a command line interface similar to what we're used to with bash scripts, things like that. Um, also, something you may not be aware of is a few years ago when Microsoft made the switch from a classic portal over to the resource management portal, they announced something called ARM templates. So ARM templates are JSON scripts. So part of that change was they took the whole back end of of Azure and convert it over to be a JSON-backed um, uh, environment. So everything actually within Azure now, within your portal, is an Azure script that we can create via ARM templates. We can orchestrate uh, how things are built, when they're built uh, via ARM templates. Um, we can update VMs via an ARM template, so just make a tweak to the ARM template, redeploy it, and it'll make changes to our environment that way. It's completely scripted architecture now. We can save that again, like I've said a couple times now, as a, in our code repository, and our infrastructure almost becomes software at this point. Huge benefits to this, huge possibilities of what you could do with your infrastructure. Spinning up new environments, especially those folks that are looking at multi-tenant environments. Uh, you could spin up a, an environment per client within the cloud and, and set them up in their own resource groups and, and, um, and track uh, costs per resource group per client. Lots and lots of options, lots of possibilities here. All from the ability to script uh, our environments now, uh, save that, and, um, and, and work through those. So if you're interested in talking about uh, scripting your environment and what the capabilities are there and how the best, uh, what the best options are to do deployments, uh, feel free to click the link below and talk to us about it more. We'd love to talk to you. Um, we'll talk to you next time. Thanks.